Is it possible to practice Minecraft? Yeah, I've been asking this question a lot lately. I've actually been chatting with a few people just randomly bringing it up because it's been on my mind. I mean, you see like there's some great YouTubers and people out there, YouTubers, builders, developers, server owners, and these people are dope. And sometimes I wonder like, do I just not have my a creative bone in my body to be able to be as talented as these people? So I've been asking around and chatting with some people about this question of like, is it possible to practice Minecraft to get better at the game, especially as a creator who wants to do this professionally? Well, that's the topic that we're going to be talking about today here in the cafe. Welcome to the cafe, by the way. My name is Stiflerd, and if this is your first time here, well, the cafe is all about giving you tools, tips, and tricks to take your Minecraft creations to the next level. And yes, it is totally true that even though me, Stiflerd, the creator of the cafe, Stiflerd channel, talking about how to make our creations better, even I sometimes doubt my abilities and my skills in the game of Minecraft. Minecraft, and I have to ask, how can I get better? And maybe some of you guys feel the same way. You feel like you're not gonna be good enough, you're not a good enough builder, you're not a good enough YouTuber or streamer or developer or server owner, and you're just like, can I do this? Is it possible for me to do this? Well, my friends, I think it totally is possible for us to do this. I'm a big fan of this YouTube channel called Two Set Violet. <laughs> These guys, Brett and Eddie, are hilarious. They are classically trained violinists. <laughs> I'm gonna win because I don't know any of it. They have a great YouTube channel with like 1.4 million subscribers and they're just awesome. I love watching every single one of their videos. And the funny thing is, I'm not even a violinist. I don't play the violin. I don't know how to play the violin. I got music inside of me, but I can't let it out because I don't know how. One of the things that Two Set Violin talks about basically all the time is that you need to practice. How many hours do you actually practice every day? <laughs> Enough. Practice, practice, practice. You got the Ling Ling 40 hours a day practicing challenge. And by the looks of things, it seems like our villager friends here did not practice making churches very well. Um, unless, unless this is the practice. This is the practice run and this is the completed. Yeah, okay. All right, villagers. I see you guys doing the Ling Ling 40 hour practice sessions. Good job, fellas. Good job. Nice work. Practicing. It's pretty common knowledge that when it comes to things that we want to do in the world with skills or hobbies or careers, you gotta practice. You gotta, you gotta put in 10,000 hours in order to become professional, to become really, really skilled at whatever it is that you wanna do. Two Set Violin talks about this all the time. You know, people might say, in order to be a great musician, you gotta be a prodigy, that great musicians are born, not made. And they laugh at this, they make jokes about it all the time, and they say like, no, you practice, you practice, you practice getting better at the violin, no matter what, you just, you have to practice all the time. And the running joke is that Ling Ling actually practices 40 hours a day, which is pretty impressive. I mean, I can barely practice anything for like an hour or two a day. Ling Ling is over there doing 40 hours, wild. So listening to these guys talk about practicing, it's got me asking this question of like, is it possible to practice Minecraft, right? And I've said that now a couple of times, and I think that it is. I've, I've had this discussion with a few people and the conclusion is almost always, no, you can't really practice Minecraft in the same way that you can practice a violin. But the more I think about it, the more I think that that might not be true. We are totally capable of practicing Minecraft and that practice can make us better. The trick is we have to practice smart. If you're wanting to be the next Mumbo Jumbo or Good Times with Scar or Q Magnet or whoever, you gotta practice and you have to practice well. Now, what do I mean when I'm talking about practicing well? Well, I'm really not entirely sure yet. I kind of need to figure this out. I, I just have this idea that that it could work. And so I wanted to bring it to you guys and say like, how do you think 
that this could work because I, you know, I got to figure this out myself. I know that when you are practicing an instrument or when you're practicing a sport, the goal is not just to keep doing the same thing over and over because yes, repetition is important as part of practice, but you have to be repeating things that actually make you better. If you repeat and you practice bad habits, then your form becomes bad. You don't get any better by practicing things incorrectly. In the case of violins, if you're holding the bow or your fingers are not in the correct positions and you're practicing, you're going to build muscle memory that is wrong and so you get worse with it. Being intentional with how you practice then is very important. You can't just practice all willy-nilly, you actually have to be smart about how you're doing it. But what is the right way to practice Minecraft? Uh, you know, I don't know, and again, that's why I'm here talking with you guys, because practicing Minecraft isn't just building muscle memory or something. You have to think more creatively. You have to change the way that you perceive things in the world or in your Minecraft world so that you can make better decisions about how to build. In some situations, yeah, sure, maybe practicing muscle memory is actually a really great way to practice Minecraft. Like if you're doing PVP, high pixel bed wars, mini games, whatever it might be, it might actually be a really great idea to practice just playing game after game after game to build the muscle memory and to develop your skills as a PVP player. But I definitely think it's possible to practice building, that we can work on intentionally developing our skills as builders. My guess is that part of that is going to come through learning different techniques related to art and creativity. I noticed that some builders and YouTubers will actually go and look at other types of art and different art mediums so that they can get inspiration on the build style that they want to work on. I 100% do not do that sort of thing enough. A lot of times when I get an idea for something that I want to build in Minecraft, I just start doing it. I go and I just do it and see what I can come up with. But the problem with this method of practice is that I'm never really challenging myself to try anything different. And I think that that's where the intentionality of becoming a better Minecraft builder and practicing comes in. I can't just come and find a random thing and start building and say, that that's going to make me better. I have to have a purpose. I have to have a goal. I have to have an idea for what it is that I want to practice. Building this guy, for one, doesn't really look all that great. It's kind of weird looking. I don't know. Maybe I can make it look cool. And maybe that's the challenge. Maybe that's how I challenge myself to practice right now is I take this dude right here and I say, I'm going to turn him into a tentacled alien that is attacking this village. And that, and that could be the thing that I practice. But some that might be better is if I went online and I started looking up pieces of art or graphics or other video games or other YouTubers and look to see what types of things that they're doing, even photographs of buildings. If I wanted to make my own custom village and replace this one around me, I could look up photos of villages around the world and try to design my village using the blocks that are here in my inventory to capture the emotion, the energy energy and the tone of the village that I looked at photos of. And I would say that part of practicing may also be found in looking at photos and looking at artwork and not copying it directly, not trying to rebuild something from a tutorial or rebuild something from an exact schematic that I can see and copy block by block, but to take a look at different designs and builds and photographs and pieces of art and say, I want to build something like that. When you're just copying a schematic, you're not really exercising your creative muscle. When we're trying to practice being better builders or YouTubers or creatives of some kind, we need to exercise the muscles that make us better. When you're playing soccer, you want to become a better soccer player. You exercise those muscles so that you can build the muscle memory. In the same way, we have to stretch our creative muscles. If we want to be really good builders, we need to think creatively. We need to think artistically. And the only way to do that is if we challenge ourselves to not follow schematics and tutorials, but to 
dive in and try and make something that fits a tone and emotion and a build style, but is still completely our own. Over the next few weeks, I want to try something for myself. I want to challenge myself to become a better builder. And the way that I think I'm going to try to do that is to take my advice here and practice building something in a specific style that doesn't have tutorials, doesn't have schematics, and then try to capture that and build it. And I'm going to do this over and over and over again. I want to try and spend hours, 40 hours a day, building and practicing my skills to try and become a better Minecraft builder. And along the way, I'm going to learn better ways to practice intentionally. So this video can be kind of rambly and I'm not going to have all the right specific answers about how to do things at the start, but maybe after a couple of weeks, I'll become a better practicer. I'll be practicing practicing, which is an interesting idea, but it's totally a thing. I want to invite you guys to join along with me over the next three weeks. Let's give ourselves a deadline. 21 days from now, we will come back here and let's talk about how we practiced and how we intentionally decided to learn things in Minecraft and stretch our creative muscles. And let's see if in three weeks we have improved our building abilities or our PVP abilities or our plugin development abilities whatever it might be. You've got three weeks from today. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you are going to practice along with me. Maybe in like a week, I'll make another video talking about the things that I am intentionally doing to practice better. But in the meantime, hit up my Discord down in the description below for Snapshot MC and let's talk about how we can practice together and encourage each other to become better creators. I know this was like a really weird rambly video. I don't really know what I'm thinking right now. I just think that practice is important and it's possible with Minecraft. We just have to stretch the right muscles and figure out how to do it consistently. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it challenges you in some way. I will see you in three weeks from now with at least one other video talking about my adventures practicing building in Minecraft. But I will see you all around next time. Peace.